Hey, how's it going? I hope you're having a great, wonderful day. My day, my weekend was really good. I had an opportunity to just relax. My son was not with me, and so I had a little downtime. And so I decided to spend some time watching a bunch of YouTube videos. <laughs> but um, I had a good time. So today in my vlog, I want to talk to you about three things that happened to me. And the third thing is really going to be a question that I want your input because I want to make sure that the content that I share with you is valuable to you because I intend to both educate and entertain you, but I want to make sure that it's valuable to you, especially to those of you who have been so supportive of me as a recording artist, as a singer, and people that I've made music with or just shared life's journey with, uh, done ministry with in the past. So anyway, <clears throat> So the first thing is legacy. It is just so important to treat people like they're important. It's so important to treat people like they're important. Uh, today, a friend of mine, uh, Dwan Starling, asked me to play for his brother's funeral, his memorial service. Here's the program. You know, it's sad whenever someone dies at a young age, but I'm always blessed when the person who's died leaves behind so many people that have a wonderful testimony about how they blessed their lives. What is the legacy that you and I are leaving behind? Just imagine for a moment that today is your last day. So in about a week, they're going to have a service for you. What will the people say about you? What impact have you made? Have you really looked at people in terms of how you can be a blessing to them, how you can give them value, or have you just looked at them in terms of how you can manipulate them into helping you make money or get power? Think about legacy. Think about how will the people that I've interacted feel about me when I'm gone? So I was blessed to know that Carlton left a legacy of love. He was a wonderful father. He has two lovely daughters. One of them sang the Sam Smith song. Um, I think it's called Lay Me Down. And I'm a voice teacher, so I'm not usually crying when someone sings, but I got a little choked up. That was so beautiful. But anyway, think about one, what is the legacy I'm leaving? What are people gonna say about me when I'm gone? Second thing, have you ever been scammed or hacked on Facebook? Has someone ever sent you this statement? Looks like you in this video. Man, I love my dear 89 year old mother. She is so wonderful. And I gave her an iPad Pro so it would be really big so she could really look and enjoy things. She could see them clearly. I'm so grateful to have been able to do that for my mom because my mom, there's nothing that my mom would not do to be a blessing to my life. The one thing I'm having a problem with though is making sure she can spot a scam when it comes on her screen. So one of our relatives got hacked and then through Facebook Messenger sent out that little message with the video saying, hey, does this look like, is this you in the video? So fortunately, um, someone pointed it out. So I was able to go on and I was able to see that there was someone in Brampton, Ontario, uh, over in, in Canada, who was logged in to my mom's Facebook account. So. I switched to two-factor authentication, which then, and then bumped them off, which then meant that they couldn't, even though they tricked her into getting her password, because what happens is if you click on that video, it pretends to be Facebook, and it says, you know, uh, you know, we need your, we need to verify your password. And then, of course, 
they take your password and now they log in and and then they send that same thing to all of your um, followers and the gift keeps on giving. Today I saw someone else who had the same, uh, who was hacked and had the same thing going out. So, any suggestions about how you can help your parents who aren't as used to social media to stay away from um, hackers? I don't think it's going to happen again to my mom anytime soon because now anytime something looks a little weird, she's like, son, do you think this is okay? So, um, love you, mom. But watch out for those hackers. If someone sends you a video and says, hey, this looks like you, don't click on it. All right. And then lastly, my dream for many years has been to be a content creator. I love photography and videography. I have grown to love telling stories. I've been a songwriter. I'm an award-winning songwriter. But I always wondered, wouldn't it be cool if I could work for myself and be able to create content and be able to change people's lives and impact them with the content that I'm passionate about that I believe would be a blessing to them. But of course, then the question is, what would that content be? So I've been a professional singer for many years. I have been blessed to sing at the Kennedy Center, to sing in front of 30,000 people in Kenya and 50,000 people in St. Louis and 70,000 people in Toronto. That was exciting, the Kennedy Center, and to, uh, to have been an audio engineer for a recording that one song of the year in another competition. I've, I've had these experiences and I'd love to share my passion for uh, music production, for singing, and for photography with those of you online. But really, what I really want to do is share my passion for life and the hacks in life that have really helped me to make it through. That's really what I'd like to share, but I don't know what you would like to hear. So would you like, I was thinking several of you have expressed uh, interest in knowing more about photography. You enjoy the pictures that I post to Instagram. My Instagram, by the way, is DG Worship. Um, and so some of you have asked about the photography. Others of you wanted to know singing tips. I, I teach voice uh, both at Washington Adventist University and I have choirs at Hammond Middle School in Howard County. So I've been working with The Voice for 30 years and I have been able to help many vocalists on their way to become successful singers. So some people might like some advice with singing. Other people want to be content creators too and they want advice on how to grow your following. I'm close to 2,000 followers on my journey to worship Facebook page every morning. A friend of mine asked me if I would sing a song. Uh, his mother passed away last March and he asked me if I'd sing a song every morning for worship. And so every morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I share a, th a song and a thought on Journey to Worship and also on my YouTube music channel, David Griffith's Music. So I'm just trying to figure out what would be the thing that you would enjoy most for me to share about. So, do you want to hear about singing? Do you want to hear about music production, playing the piano, songwriting? Do you want to hear about photography? Or do you just want to hear about tips on content creation and how I do what I do when it comes to that? So anyway, <coughs> so anyway, please let me know in the comments what you're interested in and I'll have some videos coming your way right away, real soon. All right. Just remember that I love you and God loves you more. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Make sure if you're enjoying what I'm sharing to subscribe, to like, to hit the bell. You know, all the things that they say that you're supposed to do. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day and take care of yourself and those around you. Bye-bye.